YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the Kamen Rider Drive TKSP Kamen Rider Drive Type Fruits. So we took a look at the shift car not too long ago, and here is the rider form. You get a good pick of the figure right there, and a little bit of the suit up there. I love this form. It was released in December 2014 for the usual TK price of 3,200 yen. So this is a form as seen in the movie. He gets the type fruits shift car as seen here. And he transforms into this. A nice, wonderful blend of Gaim and Drive. And it's it's just really freaking cool. Um, usual TK packaging. Nothing uh, too crazy to go over there. Does advertise. Their next review that we'll take a look at the ACSP figure of Kamen Rider Gaim Drive Arms. So, pretty cool. Um, it's usual, unusual rather, that we get a uh, movie form as a retail release figure. And that is just really freaking cool. I really dig that. Included with this guy is the Muso Saber and the Dai Dai Maru. As seen in the Arms Change series. Um, just you can tell right by the little peg right there. That uh, this is the same exact one that we're used to getting. Um, in fact you can even peg them together as usual to make the uh, Naginata mode. If you so wish. We're just going to go ahead and set that aside for right now. Um, Gaim, or Drive rather, does wield the Muso Saber and the Dai Dai Maru when he uh, enters this form. So like I said, a wonderful blend of Gaim's fruit motif and armor motif uh, combined with Drive's general aesthetic. It is really, really nice. The base figure is more or less a repaint of type speed with new shoulder pads. Uh, that is basically... Um, about it for him. He does have this new little type fruits logo on his drive driver as you can maybe see right there. It is a little bit difficult to see because it's just so small. But um, I, I really dig this guy. He is really, really cool. Uh, all the posability is right there. Obviously this pad hinders the vertical movement quite a bit, but um, you can move it out of the way if you so wish. To move his arm up like that. And the joints are actually quite tight on this guy too. I got a paint nick right there. That's upsetting. Anywho. <laughs> uh, I, I really dig this form. It's a great looking form. You got the orange on this side. You got the blue on this side. To kind of represent uh, Gaim's base suit color. The blue right there. So I really dig that. Um, I don't know if I would have preferred the orange here. Or the blue here. To kind of make them like two toned maybe. Kind of like a weird horizontal double. But um, that that could have been cool, I suppose. But um, overall, it's a nice-looking figure. I just really like the form. It just works for me. Uh, I really, really dig that. Uh, this part does spin right here, so you can flip those pieces up and get a cool spin going. I haven't seen the movie, obviously, because it just came out in Japanese theaters and is not out on DVD. So we people in America and other non-Japanese countries can't quite see it yet. So I don't know if this was actually done in the movie, but it's really fun to do regardless. Uh, you can put the other pad up here if you so wish. Um, it looks a little bit funny because that one is curved to fit the shoulder, but you can do that if you want. And obviously you can use other tires, and we'll show that off in a minute. This top part is the hat. Um, it just kind of clips on there. It has little grips inside of there that grip onto the top spoiler portion of Drive's helmet. Just like that. It's pretty secure. It takes a lot of shaking to get it off, so I wouldn't really worry too much about it. Uh, just kind of popping off randomly during a sorted play as I try desperately to get it back on. <laughs> there we go. So I don't know. I, I really like it. The, the hat is definitely goofy, but it gives him a nice sort of samurai warrior motif. Uh, that I really do enjoy. And then the back, as usual, has all of Drive's uh, car underside-ness down there. So that will pop right off. And uh, as being a type speed mold, you just pop them off right up there. And you have the type fruits tire. Now, of course, you can attach this to any of the other ones. It's actually kind of cool on type technique. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll give it that. It, it's weird, but hey, it works. It doesn't work quite as well on Type Wild since these really have nowhere to go. It can fold on his head, I suppose. Um, in terms of like being a saw, uh, the way it's shaped, it just doesn't really work. 
Uh, if you can clip it in the other way, perhaps. I don't think that really clips in that way because it's meant to go the other way. If it could clip in like that, you can kind of get it to go, but that really doesn't quite work. And of course, being the same mold, it works perfectly fine with type speed, but with the different shoulder pad, um, it doesn't quite fold down all the way, but it works just fine. Now to hook these together, all you do is simply connect these two halves right here, flip it over, and these will connect right on the sides right here. And this is essentially what the TK, or the TK, the Type Fruits tire is supposed to look like. Um, very reminiscent of the normal Gaim fruit coming down, splitting apart into multiple pieces. So it is very much like the Fruit of Helheim, which is a uh, pretty darn cool, if I do say so myself. Now this also does have uh, tried run capabilities as well, but you have to do a little bit of stuff to it first. You have to flip it apart and you have to fold out these little clips right here. Those clips right here. And then yeah, here on the base tire, you actually have to flip that middle portion all the way around. And that will allow it uh, to connect onto the tire, which in theory would also let it connect to type wild the way I wanted it to. I didn't really think about that. So that will just attach right there. I guess I probably could have made it straight. There we go, and the other piece will just grip onto the little tire portion, just like that, so you can attach both of those to try to run. And as I stated before, any of the tires work just fine on this guy, as if it is any surprise whatsoever. So overall, I really, really dig this guy. Uh, I don't know, something about the type just really works for me. Uh, the blend of orange and blue is my uh, city's baseball colors, the Tigers, so I'm kind of a little bit biased toward the color combination. And uh, being such a fan of Gaim, um, I love how they incorporated elements of Gaim's design into uh, type fruits really quite well. Um, being a repaint slash remold of Type Speed, it is a great overall figure. So if you own Type Speed, you know a little bit of what to expect going into this guy. Uh, the hat stays on pretty well, which I'm actually quite surprised about. And the look of the tire itself is just generally really cool and really uh, calls back to the way Gaim transformed, which I really dig. So overall, this is probably my favorite uh, TK figure yet. Uh, Speed was always the most solid figure for me. Uh, despite the fact that I like uh, Technique's design so much. So um, knowing that is a repaint remold of that, um, I figured I'd like this one a heck of a lot, and I certainly do. In fact, it's my favorite of the two movie releases, um, but we'll get to uh, Arms Change Gaim Drive Arms uh, in a day or two. So <laughs> thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one.